Hello, this is Dr. Nancy Berriman. I teach courses in Human Resource Management in the Barton School of Business at Wichita State University. This is my podcast explaining statistical and practical significance. Use this podcast to help you remember the relationship between these two very important statistical topics. In one of the courses that I teach, students are required to do some statistical calculations showing the correlation between a test score and job performance. This is a type of validity. There are two concepts that are critical to understanding the value or the usefulness of the result that is obtained. The first is the concept of statistical significance. Many students have heard this term and have some familiarity with what it means. Fewer students are familiar with the concept of practical significance. In HRM 666, students are asked to calculate the correlation coefficient, R, between a measure of job performance and some variable that is thought to predict or be associated with job performance. Let's say that we have collected data on employees' cognitive ability and their job performance. After the correlation coefficient is calculated, students are then required to calculate the t-value that is associated with that value of r. In looking at the equation in this slide, we see that t is determined from two values. One is the value of r and the other is n, the sample size. In this case, that would be the number of employees. Let's say that R is equal to 0.5 and N equals 18. If you substitute these numbers into this equation, you will find that T is equal to 2.19. What do we do with this number? What does it mean? In order to determine if this value of T is statistically significant, we compare it to the critical value of t from a statistical table. In order to do this, we need to know the degrees of freedom. In this case, the degrees of freedom, df, equals n minus 2 or 18. Here is an abbreviated statistical table. At degrees of freedom equal to 18 and a level of significance of 0.05, the critical value of t is 1.734. Our value of t is 2.19, which is greater than the t critical value. This means that our results are statistically significant. Any time that the calculated value of t is greater than the critical value of t from a table, then our results are statistically significant. We interpret this by saying the probability of us obtaining this result by chance alone if the real correlation coefficient was equal to zero is less than 5 out of 100. If we wanted a higher level of confidence, we could choose a level of significance of 0.01, which would mean that the probability would be less than 1 out of 100. Now that we know how to determine if a t-statistic is statistically significant, let's take this a step further. Here is a table that approaches the issue of statistical significance of R from a different angle. Here we see values of R that would be considered statistically significant for different degrees of freedom and for different levels of significance. Take a moment and look at the impact of sample size, degrees of freedom, on the values of R that would be considered statistically significant. Look at the numbers in the columns. The conclusion from this table is that the larger the sample size, the smaller the correlation that is necessary to be statistically significant. So why do we need to even think of anything else? Well, the issue is that, as you've seen, statistical significance is dependent on sample size. The larger the sample size, the smaller the t-value that is considered statistically significant.
By the way, we have looked at this in terms of t and r, the correlation coefficient, but this occurs for all statistical tests. So we also need to consider how useful is this result? Does it matter? This is a very important question. Here is one way of determining the practical significance for the correlation coefficient. This approach to determining the value or practical significance is provided by the Department of Labor. The coefficient of determination, or r-squared, is a way to interpret the correlation coefficient in practical terms. The coefficient of determination tells you how much of the variance in one variable is associated with or explained by some other variable. So, if the correlation coefficient is equal to 0 0.5, then r squared is equal to 0.25. So 25% of the variability in job performance is explained by your knowledge of an employee's cognitive ability. So in general, statistical significance is very valuable in that it allows us to determine if the results that we obtained could have been obtained by chance alone. However, the downside is that as the sample size increases, it is more and more likely with the same effect size to get significant results. Therefore, we need to consider the practical significance of any statistical result. There are a variety of ways to do to determine this. I have illustrated a couple of ways, one based on guidelines from the Department of Labor, the other more statistically based to do this for the correlation coefficient. Other methods exist for other statistics. The bottom line, statistical significance is important, but it is all only part of the picture. Practical significance is more important.